Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and in today's video I want to show you how to tile a shower niche. I've kind of got a few, few of the things pre-cut that we're going to be using uh, but basically we're using uh, ceramic tile uh, these, the main tile on the walls are going to be 12 by uh, 24s so I'm using that product for the border inside here on the top bottom and sides just cut to the appropriate sizes I need and then I'm going to be using a uh, a glass accent tile in the back of the niche itself. Okay, so hopefully I've got most of what I need cut and ready to go. Um, kind of the main thing to start out with is you want to start with your bottom piece. And the reason for that is kind of like, you know, whenever you're waterproofing something, you want to kind of start from the bottom and work your way up as much as you can. So we're going to install this piece here, which is cut almost the full depth of the uh, shower niche. Then we're going to install the back glass back, uh, pieces so that they overlap onto here. That way any water that sprays or shoots up into there kind of runs down that glass and can come out. We're also going to slightly tilt, I'm exaggerating here, but slightly tilt the, uh, the bottom uh, tiles so that the water will drain out. Um, Obviously the niche has all been installed. It's a pre-made unit. Uh, you can see that on one of our other videos for installing Curdy board and uh, that's all ready to go. Um, it's been installed level and that's key so that you don't have to mess around too much tile wise uh, to straighten anything out. So, uh, so that's the gist of it. Let's, let's get right into it. Okay, so I've I pre-cut these pieces for the layout that I wanted. I'm just going to kind of get them out of the way and we'll, we can do the bottom. I've mixed my mortar already. I'm just going to give it a little mix because it's been sitting here for a minute. So like all tiling, the first thing you want to do is kind of basically what they call burn in. So you want to apply your mortar to whatever substrate you have and you want to press it in so it's making a good bond. Most, most people will call that burning it in, burning it in, whoops. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more here and I'll uh, trowel it. I'm using a quarter by quarter trowel. Okay, so I've uh, got that done. Now I want to back butter my pieces as well. I'll just get a little bit on here. This just helps make sure you have a good bond. I'm just trying not to get too much on the front edge. Okay, so I've got that. Now, because we want to get a little bit of slope on the back, I'm just going to add a little bit on this back edge so we have some uh, extra to play with. And we'll set it into place. And uh, I've got things pre-marked out to where I wanted. You can see these marker lines, so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting the front edge of my tile flush to the surface here. Okay, so I just want to set it in, line it up with my marks, kind of get my little torpedo level on here. I'm just settling it down into the substrate. And you don't need much slope. You know, I'm looking at about a sixteenth or something like that. I'll just double check my level there. That's good. So that's kind of what I want for this one. Make sure it's out front to my front edge, or flush to the front edge, like so. I've got my little wee pieces here. I think the cameraman's having a little trouble seeing what I'm doing. Keep getting my fat head in the way. Okay, same thing with the little guys. Get them in there. Settle them into place. 
get them flush to the piece you just set and the appropriate grout space that you're looking for. So like I said, these bottom ones you do first, they basically can be the full width of the uh, depth of the niche. So that they sit back underneath the back panel, the back uh, decorative glass tile in this case. Okay, so we're pretty good there. So, and like I said, I've got my, my glass tiles pre-cut uh, to fit. Uh, I'm getting myself mixed up. This is this end. So I've got it cut to fit for height. And it doesn't have to be perfect fit for height. You probably can't see because the camera's a little high. It doesn't have to be right up tight here because remember, you're going to have tile on the top here that's going to stick down. You know, it's going to cover three-eighths of an inch or so. So it'll give you a little bit of room to maneuver this in here but uh, basically the same idea so we want to get some mortar on that back wall burnt in it's a little hard when you're working in such a tight area that's why I like to use this little bit smaller trowel when I can this helps me be able to maneuver a little bit better You might not be using curdy board or curdy fabric or anything. You might have uh, a rubber membrane or maybe just cement board, whatever, whatever your setup is. But Okay, so once you got that all burnt in, we need to get our notch trowel again and get some mortar in there. Get ourselves some lines. Now, these tiles have really narrow pieces of glass, so you want to make sure you have good coverage there so that you're making some contact with every one of them. I think we should be all right there. I'm just going to get things kind of in there, and then I can move them around if I need to. we're pretty good for end to end just kind of getting lined up right I've got one loose one what did I do with it for this spot okay and I just use a rubber float when you're working with a mosaic like this 
just to kind of push it in. And it just helps get them flatter and make sure that you've got some, every piece embedded in there. If you get a little bit of mortar on the surface of anything, just try to clean it up if you can as you go. It'll just save you some time down the road. Okay. And a lot of uh, mosaics are mounted on a, a mesh backing or something like that, but sometimes the odd one of them is a little crooked, so I usually just have a, a little look. Make sure that everything's going to sit there all right and look pretty square. Making sure these bottom ones are pushed in. There, we should be good for that. Okay, so now we can, uh, I like to do my top piece and then fit my sides in between. So I've got my top pre-cut. Get that here. So again, I'm gonna burn this in up top here, just like I did on the bottom. And I've got these tiles just cut a little bit narrower because they're gonna butt into the front of this mosaic in the back. tedious but just take your time okay so I've got that all pretty good like so I'm gonna actually put the mortar on this tile so I'll back butter it and then I'll apply some more and notch it just because it's easier than working over my head. Get a little bit of excess on there. And this one obviously doesn't need to be sloped or anything. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna sit up top there. Water isn't going to sit on it or anything. Okay, so we've got that. Double check which is my front edge. And I'll just get it stuck up there. And most times that will stay there. But I usually just cut a little piece of something to go in just to give it a little bit of support so that it doesn't fall out. I just got to make sure I'm not crushing that bottom that we set so that it remains sloped. guys in. They shouldn't have any trouble hanging there on their own. Clean up the little bits that are sticking out. Like so. And then I've just got to cut some pieces to fit in this side. There's in the two sides. Now remember that your bottom edge is going to have a slight slope on it. Should be the same. And for this I can simply use a snap cutter.
we do have a video on using this snap cutter too if you need a little more information on how to use it. Very good for any kind of just basic straight cut. Let's double check that these are going to be alright. Should be fine. Okay, so same idea all over again. Burn it in, notch it, and you're good to go. Get it in there nice and square to where you're happy. Put a little bit of a spacer underneath it. Just to lift it up a hair. Should be good there. Okay, same thing with this one. push in my little pieces on the top and bottom a little bit so I had to play with that. Okay, that should be good. Double check all these ones. Okay, get that blob off of there. So there you've basically got your uh, Got your niche all tiled. Uh, obviously it's got to set up a little bit uh, for overnight until you can grout it or anything. But then uh, when you grout it, you just have to grout all your joints. You're gonna have joints all the way around the back edges there as well. And for the front edges here, there's a few different options. Um, you could, some people will, now this isn't a full tile, but some people will just tile, you know, kind of do a butt joint here on the front edge. Uh, most most tiles, the edges aren't that nice, so you may not want those exposed. Uh, there's metal trim that you can put around there. Um, you could use some little pencil uh, decorative tiles, kind of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, in our case, we're going to be using a, uh, a Quadec um, metal trim around there, and you can see that if you uh, watch our video on tiling shower walls. Okay? So that wasn't too bad, but we wanted to kind of separate this out of the main video uh, and just deal with the niche itself, uh, seeing as you kind of have to do it first anyways before you tile the wall. So uh, I think that's all I can really tell you. So hopefully this video showed you what you needed to do on your niche project and uh, is helpful. And if it is, we'd appreciate if you click the thumbs up below. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, you can go to our forum and post your question up there. If you just want to make a comment, make a comment below. Um, check out our social media. And if you want to do that little bit extra for us to help us continue to make these great videos, you can uh, check out our uh, Patreon campaign as well. So appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.